Well, it's just coming up to half past five in the morning and I've made a real effort this morning to get myself up and get out, get ready and get out here to catch the first light for a few reasons, really. The first reason is to catch enough of the flooding tide. And the second is that the forecast is for it to be very bright and sunny today. In fact, at the moment, there's, there, there's not a cloud in the sky. So to get out here before uh, fishing, before the sun gets too, too high. And the main thing, the main thing that I'm after on this session is mackerel. I want to stock up on some mackerel if I can, mainly for food, but maybe keep, keep a bit back for bait as well for later on in the year. But I'm going to try it first. Because I'm out here so early, I'm, I'm actually going to give it a go for a while to see if there's any bass around. There might be some bass around, there might not. There might be some mackerel around, there might not. But to give myself the best chance of picking up a bass, it's probably best to try now uh, why we've still got low light conditions. So that's what I'm going to do first, drift over a little rough ground mark and uh, do a bit of lure fishing, see if there's any bass. Try that for a while, but then, then what I'll do is, is go off and uh, focus on catching mackerel for the rest of the trip. All right, for the bass, I've got a few lures with me, uh, soft plastics. Um, I'm going to start with this one. This is a fish black minnow, 120, 12 gram and the idea is that I'm just going to cast it out and then let it sink right down into the rough ground, down into the rocks, down into the kelp, hence the fishing weeder, weedless, and then work it back to the kayak. I'm either going to work it back with twitches, give it some twitches, or, or just a retrieve, or, or a mixture of both. Okay, so it's casting it well away from the kayak. Just let it drop right down and then work it back. So in other words, I'm not trying to avoid the rough ground in any way. I'm actually, I'm actually seeking the rough ground out um, rather than avoiding it, which of course I risk losing tackle of course even though I'm fishing weedless um, but yeah it's uh, get down into that rough ground and and up through the rough ground up to the surface as I mentioned of course I've got no idea if, if there's any bass around it's not it's not a great tide uh, today it's a, it's a neat tide so it's not a lot of movement um, but I'm just I'm just hoping that because I'm here at this time of the day um, that I might, I might get lucky and uh, and pick one up. The other thing I, I, I will do when I'm going to be doing the mackerel fishing later, I'm going to focus on I'm going to focus on drifting close to rough ground, over rough ground and around rough ground where. Of course, it's like anything. Sometimes, it, particularly if the mackerel are a bit scarce, sometimes you find that they um, you stand more chance around the rough ground, where of course it attracts other other life, bait fish, sand eels, uh, launce, and th therefore attracts the mackerel. So I'm going to focus on on drifting. Let's say certainly within 50 yards of rough ground, and some of that drift may take me over the rough ground, in which case, if I'd see any signs of Pollock down there, I've got gear with me to quickly change over and um, see if I can pick up Pollock. Well, I've had an hour now and there's absolutely no sign of bass, so what I think I'll do is uh, go off now, just get this one, this last cast in, uh, go off and, and focus on picking up a few mackerel. I might come back later and give it a go at the end of the session, but it doesn't seem to be any about. If I get bogged down with trying to trying to catch a bass um, and then end up going back with nothing, with no mackerel, uh, she who must be obeyed uh, is not going to be too happy, particularly as I I woke her up at quarter past three this morning. Apparently, I thought I thought I was being quiet, but. No, I woke her up, so yeah, I've got to, <laughs> I've 
I've got to I've got to go back uh, with at least a few mackerel, which of course she enjoys. I mean, she loves loves bass, of course. But the thing is, you get bogged down with with trying to catch bass uh, and think, oh, I keep trying, I keep trying, I keep trying, like I am now. I said that was the last cast, and now of course another cast goes out. Um, yeah, you get bogged down with it, and uh, before you know it, the time's gone, and uh, you end up you can end up catching nothing. So yeah, call it, forget the bass, it was worth a try, definitely worth a try, and uh, we'll, we'll focus on bass on another occasion. No, nothing, right, that's it, get bass out of my mind, as great as it would have been, but no, not meant to be on this occasion. Okay, let's see if we can uh, see if we can find some mackerel. Doesn't look uh, doesn't look very busy on the fish finder at the moment, but never mind. Hopefully, a few a few will uh, pass by. And as I said, I'm going to focus on keeping close, fairly close to rough ground, rather than dr drifting miles in in no man's land. And, and just hope a few a few pass through. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, no, this is not mackerel. <laughs> this is sand eels by the by the feel of it. Oh well, bit of bait for the future. Always always handy to. Um, Always handy to catch these for bait. Yeah, make a, make a great bait. Um, use these for all, all sorts of species. This will be good news if it is first mackerel and it is brilliant ah yeah interesting that's on the jig in you come fantastic oh always pleasing to get mackerel yeah that was uh, as, as I've mentioned loads of times in in uh, in videos I'll have a jig have a jig at the bottom of your string of feathers or in my case a string of sabikis instead of a lead weight and apart from the fact that it catches mackerel you never know it could catch any something else pollock cod bass you never know right good so we haven't blanked on the mackerel but I need a few more than that. But it's just, it's just pleasing actually to um, to catch one pretty quickly after start after starting. I'm not actually seeing much sign of uh, fish on the finder. I'm seeing some signs of something down the bottom, but I think that could be. Oh, I'm starting to see starting to see signs now patches now there we go but it could be oh no we lost that one Another macro on the jig. <laughs> Funny, they're not not taking the uh, they're not taking the feathers, the sabikis. They're um, taking taking the jig. That's a little little tip for you, fairly new to kayak fishing, and you've got uh, you've got marks, rough ground marks, on a GPS. Is if the, if 
if you're struggling to find mackerel, if you're just drifting in open ground and you're struggling to find mackerel, they're a bit scarce, try and drift around rough ground. It's the same, it's the same as anything. These little rough ground patches are, are an oasis in the middle of a, of a barren desert. Now, whereas we normally target, target rough ground, target things like pollock or, or cod or, or bass in shallow water over, over rough ground, mackerel, of course, are attracted to it as well. Around it, if it's fairly deep, they'll, they'll, they'll be over it. But if it's in fairly shallow water, I mean, anything from 40 to 50 foot of foot water at the moment, um, they'll, they'll be attracted to around rough ground as well. The reason being is because other things like these congregate around the rough ground and consequently the, um, the other fish do like mackerel. So at the moment I'm only about roughly I'm only about I suppose about 50 yards 50 yards off 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 of a, off of a rough ground patch one of those the, one of those are oasis in the middle of nowhere in the middle of nothing pretty barren and I don't think there's a lot of mackerel around because the otherwise I'd see the patches on the finder so um, yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do stick stick around the rough ground and, and hopefully that's where I will pick up a few mackerel well I've got something here that that definitely isn't a mackerel and it might be a pollock. Well, that's good. I changed the sabikis. I'm still fishing sabikis, but I changed them to slightly bigger ones because uh, I was getting kept catching the the the, uh, the lance, which is great. I've got a few. They're great when you want them for bait, but I didn't want to just keep catching uh, catching lance so I've put slightly bigger sabikis on these are on these are on size two hooks where the other ones I had were on size six hooks um, so we got we got a pollock and that's because the reason for that is as I said before what I'm focusing on today is, is fishing by close to rough ground and I was just going over just going along the edge of the rough ground and I can see the pollock down there and, and, and got one on one, one of the sabikis so that's great so what I'll do is while I'm uh, going along the, right on the edge of this rough ground and I can see see on the find of this there's what probably is Pollock down there I might as well carry on and uh, see if we can get a few or another one well this is proving to be hard work trying to find some mackerel yeah it's, uh, this, it's certainly not alive with mackerel that's for sure I mean I can see just looking at the the uh, the fish finder, that there's not a lot of not a lot around. One thing that having a if you, a fish finder, if you've got a boat or a or a kayak, that teaches you is how the truth in the saying that ninety percent of the fish are in ten percent of the ocean, and you really see that when you come out and you've got a sonar on. I mean, you can drift. You can drift for a long, long way, and, and, and sometimes see pr a pretty lifeless screen as regards what's it, what you can see in the water column. And then suddenly, you know, you'll see you'll see you'll see a, pa a, a patch of of life, um, and it just goes to show how hard 
Uh, shore fishing can be, you know, you go on the rocks, uh, you're very limited to the area that you can covered, cover, and maybe you're going to try and catch some mackerel and there's not, there's a few, only, and, you, and when you come out on a kayak like this and you can see that there's not a huge amount around and you're on the rocks there covering a small area trying to trying to catch fish and you come out here covering all this ground and you still struggle to catch to catch fish like mackerel uh, it's a real eye-opener a, a sonar I can tell you I'm seeing there's there's lance in the water and sand hills not not huge patches but they're there so here's when I had the little sabikis on um, you know, I could have caught a lot, a lot more, but don't, don't really want them. But as regards other fish, like mackerel, this, this is gonna, I can tell, this is gonna prove to be hard work today, getting a reasonable amount of mackerel. I'm quite great, <laughs> I'm quite grateful um, at the moment to have the two. What I'm doing here, because I'm not really seeing patches of mackerel. On the finder, I'm working the depths, going down to the bottom, working it up through the depths, up to more or less up to the surface, and and uh, and, and and going back down again. Um, see if there's any little, just a few mackerel, you know, swim in the water column that I can pick up. When there's a lot of mackerel, you'll see them. They will show on the finder, and then of course, if I can see them then I can make sure that I work the the uh, the lures in amongst them. Well, it's a great day though. The sun's definitely up now. Yeah, it's uh, it's a beautiful day and it and it's a bit breezy this morning when I started trying to catch the bass. Um, but it's as I thought it's calm calm right down now. It's going to probably going to go flat as a pancake soon. Um and I might struggle to get a bit of a get a drift. Well, something coming up doesn't feel like a mackerel. It's not. <laughs> it's a a little a little pollock. A little pollock. Oh, actually no. no it's a whiting. That's no, a whiting. Oh, that's good. Well, at last, some more, another mackerel. Been hard work. So I'm very, very grateful for this mackerel. Again, that mac mackerel caught well, within within 25 to 50, to 50 yards from the from the rough ground. When I was drifting drifting quite a way away from the uh, rough ground before I just I literally just set up a drift again. Um, there's absolutely nothing. Yeah, so I think there's one or two mackerel around, but they're certainly they're certainly not. Here, we're well, not at this particular area, area in numbers. Well, this is no mackerel. Might be another pollock. Whee! Yeah, it might be another pollock. <laughs> well, it is another pollock, but a, and a tiny, tiny, tiny mackerel. Oh. Right, we got you, and let this one go. See if I can shake it off.
There, there we go. Go on, off you go. Again, that uh, that is because although I'm 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 fishing close to the rough ground, and again the drift took me took took me uh, fairly close to it and picked up picked up that pollock, um, which is good. It's good because there's just not a lot of mackerel around, so. Uh, it's handy at least at least to get get a get a mix of fish if I know I'm I'm not I'm not gonna be able to catch catch a good amount of mackerel. It looks like with the mackerel it's just gonna be one now and again unless I hit lucky and 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 a good shoal. I drift over a good shoal or a good shoal swims my way. Uh, so I'm very very grateful to pick up those pollock to be honest with you. Uh, because if I if I try for the mackerel out in the open ground, in the middle of nowhere, um, I wouldn't have got those pollock. Uh, so that's one 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 good reason for targeting mackerel close to rough ground. You've always got the opportunity or the chance of picking up something else like pollock or or cod codlin. Well, this has definitely proven to be hard work trying to find uh, mackerel and fish, and it's and it's gone right off at the moment. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there, I'm just saying, and uh, I've got another one. I, I was just going to say, I reckon if I came out, yeah, brilliant. Actually, this this is on the jig. This is a beast. Oh no! Oh, oh. that's all you want, isn't it? When you when you're really uh, desperate for a few mackerel and to go and lose one. Well, time for me to get in now. So, been a great morning. Disappointing after making that that effort to get up so early, not to catch more mackerel was that that was the main target species but even so at least i've got some definitely wasn't a load of mackerel around here today and i think if i stayed and fished for another couple of hours uh, i wouldn't get much more because it's gone completely dead now so i think i saw the best of the day the, fir the first few hours from dawn pleasing to get those couple of pollock as I was fishing near the rough ground, that's great, and a, and a, and a white in. So at least we, we at least we got something to eat, and I'll have a couple of those mackerel. The wife and I will have one each tonight as a first course, and, and that's going to be a real treat. So once again, I hope you found that useful, and many many thanks for watching. <laughs>